Hello, in this short video, I would like to talk about the fast pedal, uh, present its short history, and talk about the components and their, their main role in the fuzz circuit. The fuzz is considered the first ever distortion pedal in the history of the guitar. The first recording of a real fast tone guitar sound came in 1951 with Willie Kizarts playing on Jackie Branson's Rocket 88. The speaker cone on the Kizarts amplifier had ruptured uh, when it fell from the top of the car on the way to the recording session, and that gave the fuzzy tone. Later on, in the early 60s, Glenn Snoody, the studio engineer who was at the controls for the historic Nashville recording sessions, he started experimenting with the resistors in order to create the fuzzy sound, fuzzy tone for the guitar. That led him to create the first fuzz pedal in the 1966 with the Gibson Corporation, the Maestro FZ-1. And also, um, that uh, experimenting with the fuzz sounds in the 60s uh, gave really original sounds for all the 60s music, the psychedelic rock in the 60s. Uh, as a great example of the fast tone, uh, I can present the song of the legendary Rolling Stones I can't get no... <laughs> yes, uh, the Satisfaction song. Uh, down there, the Keith Richards has really great fuzzy tone on his guitar. Also, Jimi Hendrix. Yeah, the one and only Jimi Hendrix. Uh, he's widely known for using the fast face uh, pedal. And also he's known from um, his original guitar sound, fuzzy sound. Well, on the beginning of the fast sound, uh, of the fast sound, uh, the fast pedals was mainly on guitar, electric guitar. However, later on, um, the engineers started to develop um, and bass players started to develop uh, pedals, fast pedals for a bass guitar. As an example, I can, I can give you um, one of my favorite bass players, Tim Comfort, uh, originally from uh, Rage Against the Machine, and he is using his own customized COG fast bass fast pedal. Now I'd like to uh, I'd like to talk through um, the components of the of the fuzz circuit. Well, the fuzz circuit, um, the main components of the fuzz circuits are the resistors, transistors, capacitors, and diodes. Starting from the resistors, um, resistors has a few functions. The main function of the resistors is in the fast circuit uh, is they are adjusting the output and input of the signal and also they can adjust the gain of the transistor or operational amplifier and also they can be used as a voltage dividers. Now the transistors, uh, the main function of the transistor in this fast circuit is the burst, boost it's boost or it's put the gain up seriously up for the input signal and it it's add it uh, transistor adds some harmonics to the signal forgot to mention that uh, in the place of transistor uh, we can use operational uh, operational amplifier which uh, has quite the same function in the fast circuit as a transistor um, capacitors. Uh, the main role of the capacitor is uh, it allow the AC signal goes through them in the in the same at the same time blocking DC signal. Um, also, capacitors they can influence bus going through the circuit. Uh, for example, bigger bigger capacitor in the on the input and on the output of the circuit 
it will provide you with bigger bass sound of the signal. Diode allows an electric current to pass in one direction while blocking in opposite direction and also diode takes output signal and clip it. This picture presents very easy fast circuit. This circuit has only five components. Two capacitors, one resistor, diode and the transistor. As you can see on the picture, the 9 volt battery gives the power supply to the circuit. The power supply goes through the resistor and resistor adjusting the gain, overall gain for the circuit. Now the input signal goes to the capacitor, which is responsible for how, how much base will go through the signal, then goes through the diode, diode is bypassing the transistor and signal also goes through the transistor, which is responsible for adjusting the gain of the signal and, add, uh, and add, adding some harmonics to the signal. And the diode is responsible for make the signal clip. Later on, from the transistor and from the diode, overall signal goes to another capacitor, which is also responsible for the base sound of overall base sound of the signal and goes to the output. On this picture, you can see a um, big MUF uh, circuit analysis, which is a bit more complicated that I have shown you on previous picture. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope this video was at least a little bit educational for you. Thank you for your attention. Have a great day.